Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when Windows update is showing blank screen in Windows 10 setting. So in order to go ahead and fix this, go ahead and run Windows update troubleshooter. For this, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Go to update and security and then click on troubleshoot. Now click on additional troubleshooter. Select windows update and then click on run the troubleshooter. And once the troubleshoot is complete, you can go ahead and restart your computer and then check the Windows 10 update settings. Now still you are facing the same problem. In that case, you can go ahead and reset Windows update components. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down over here. You can see download Windows, Windows update reset script for computers running Windows 10. Click on it and this will go ahead and down, download the zip file. So go to the download location. So click on this arrow and then click on show in folder, make a right click on the zip file and then click on extract and after the extract open this folder and then you have to go ahead and run this bat file. So make a right click then click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow and then press any key on the keyboard to continue. Now this will first of all, it, this will go ahead and stop all the update service and then it will go ahead and restart all the update service. So let the process complete. This may take some time, so it may be, you know, a few seconds or maybe a couple of minutes. So let the process complete. Now over here, you can see it's restarting all the services now. And at the end, it will say press any key to continue. So press any key on the keyboard and this will close the command prompt window. And then you can go ahead and restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can go ahead and try to update your Windows 10. Now the next step is to go ahead and run this command. These commands are provided in the video description. So open command prompt. So go ahead and type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app. Then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now copy the first command over here. Paste it over here. Hit the enter key. And once this is complete, you can go ahead and run the second command. Now, once this is 100% complete, you can go ahead and run the second command. So copy this command this time. Again, open command prompt, run as administrator, click on click on allow, click on yes to allow and then paste the command over here, hit the enter key. And this time, again, wait for the scan to complete. Once this scan is 100% complete, you can go ahead and run the second scan. So let this scan complete and once this is 100% complete, you can go ahead and copy this command. And once the second scan is 100% complete, you can go ahead and restart your computer and then try to update your Windows 10. Now still you're facing the problem. In that case, you can go ahead and use update assistant in case of Windows 10. So copy this command, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Over here you can see update now option. So click on update now and run this exe file. This will launch the update assistant on your computer and it will go ahead and check for update if there is any pending update it will let you know and you will see the install update option now still you're facing the problem on the same website scroll down over here you can see media creation tool so click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see this screen click on up, click on accept and then by default upgrade this pc now will be selected so click on next and this will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update. Now this process may take some time. Once the download is complete, now before the installation, you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. Now when this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So you can go ahead and click on install. And after the installation, you can go ahead and log into your computer and your windows should be up to date. So if nothing is working, the last step will definitely work. So after this, your window should be up to date and you should not see this blank, blank screen anymore. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.